Sweet mother baby Jesus, what the frick have I just seen? Sometimes life gives you lemons, other times it gives you boogie 2988 with no clothes on. Now, I would personally, I'm going to sue Twitch. If you don't know what they've done, they've basically had this epiphany that they need to change their T's and C's because Twitch is um, not got enough fat people and enough breastage going on the site itself. Boogie 2988 recently obviously had a, not really a cancellation, uh, but a revitalized somehow even though he basically admitted he was a bit of a twat. Not a brilliant person. Everything about him kind of stinks to high heavens. Uh, just to go over a few things in this article, uh, just to be completely upfront, I've watched about half of it, but I find I find it really cringe, to be honest. It reminds me of a like a three-year-old throwing his toys out the pram and screaming at his mum because he, she won't buy him a fifth ice cream of the hour. You know, uh, it's just simply, I deserve this. I'm better than everyone. I'm this, that, and the other, and you're all stinkers. You know, it doesn't make sense, but in his defence, he struggled with a lot of things such as uh, addiction he was in paid a lot of money for prostitutes and sex uh, he had financial issues which I don't have any sympathy for simply because when you're in a position like that you have a lot of money it's no secret that people who you know stream and make YouTube can earn a lot of money and someone who's been around as him he has no excuse for not having cash all right it's not like he's been held at gunpoint and had to send all his bitcoins across he is actually just spent it on stupid things predominantly food through and women, all right? Look, I'm not being mean here, but he's not, you know, spending on anything else. Uh, he, you know, he's obviously known for his um, borderline offensive... Uh comedic points i mean he has plenty of health issues you don't need me to tell you that just look at the poor bloke uh you know I, again i'm not being mean but let, let's be perfectly frank here he's not thin he, he struggled with his mental health apparently he's disabled which i'm still not seeing any any evidence of you know what i mean is it because he's a bit chunky because if so half the population's fucking disabled uh he's worked in the porn industry i don't remember that that is for certain he got a felony charge all that sort of good stuff he also had red flags with women of the younger side apparently which is shocking to hear but absolutely no surprise and someone tried suggesting he does psychedelics which I can't suggest would probably be a uh, positive outlook or something to do but why am I talking about big boy boogie 2988 37 36 42 69 this man felt it was necessary to push twitch to its absolute limits reach the edge of society the yeah. edge of reality yeah. do, do, do. that's Elvis Presley for you and I'm gonna sing like boogie shows his breasts disgustingly enough to kill you or at least make you want to kill yourself show it all daddy will show it all here we go daddy will show it all already i am so sorry i'm putting you through this traumatized you know people have gone to nam people are fighting in ukraine i you know full hats off to you guys but at least you don't have to fucking see shit like this i mean black bar matter black bar matter Black bar, man. <laughs> Thing is though, you know what I mean? I'm all for uh, being happy in the skin you're in, but you know, he just made an hour documentary telling us how his life is shit and horrible and how he hates everything and now he's going on here, getting his moves out, probably showing it to kids, all because he wants to remain within the stratosphere of social media. You know, he wants to be someone people remember. And also obviously he needs cash for more prostitutes. You got to raise the bar up. Hold on. I, I think I can move this black bar. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Can you still, can you actually see? Oh, there you go. Oh my God. And it's just paused. No. Stop. Seriously though, I think my Wi-Fi is just giving birth or something. Hello. Would you like to work? Oh, not like that. I mean, this is just highly illegal, and I think it counts as prostitution or something like that. He's sailing, sailing. He's selling his. I mean, let's be real though. He's got bigger breasts than half the people me and you have ever seen. You know what I mean? Like, fair. Day. And is that a is that a ball sack hiding at the bottom? I think it is. Oh my, I'm gonna have to blur that, aren't I? Or stick a sticker over it. Maybe put a fat Snorlax there. Jesus. Oh my god, I'm seeing his balls on the illusion channel! <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. See, I hate shit like this, you know what I mean? I know I've said it a second ago, but like, if you're happy, bro, you're happy, but you've just told us you all you're not happy. You've told us in an hour documentary that just explained to me that you were a kid who thinks they deserve everything and deserve big, beautiful women, even though you are a big, beautiful bastard yourself. So basically, he did this. He got his moves out, got half a testicle out, put it online for everyone to see. We all got our hands in our pants, uh, cremated ourselves, and then what happened?
what could possibly happen with showing your nutsacks on Twitch? Well, luckily for him and lucky for us, we find out. So Big Boogie Boobie, Big Booty Baby Boogie, Big Boy Baby Boogie Baby has um, shown us all the aftermath of uh, basically instead of live streaming on Pornhub, he's accidentally streamed on Twitch. He clicked the wrong account. Abs to the best of us. We've all done it. No point, you know, hating on the dude. But let's see what Big Mr. Big Boobs has to say. I got banned for Twitch for no nudity. Let me show you. You cannot see anything you're not allowed to see on Twitch because of the way I'm built. And I'm going to prove it right here. This is skin. This is just loose skin. This is more loose skin. God damn, there's loose skin and then there's that, my lord. It's like the guy out of The Simpsons, the news guy, pulls his head back and it's like, oh god. So basically, I'm not even sure if I have to blur that anymore. The biggest risk is not taking any risk at all. Because it's not a testicle. We've just had scientific evidence and proof. He's got his field hat on, he's got his clipboard out and he's proving to us that that is just extra chub. Extra bit of skin because he's decided, you know what, I'm going to spend my life, my career, and ruin it in 30 seconds by getting my big fucking belly out, my booby woobies, and then uh, showing it to the world. Which is ableist. They banned me because I am obese. They banned me because I have loose skin. Look, Boogie, whatever your real name is, no, you think that they've banned you because you're fat. And you're probably right. However, just because you are fat doesn't mean I need to see your third testicle, okay? It's not good. It's not right. It's not what we should see. Loose skin or not, mate. Keep it hidden. Wear a dressing gown. Put the black bar up. Who wants to see this? You know what I mean? People, and I mean people, would pay you, OnlyFans, to do this on OnlyFans because they want to see your moves. No one, can including me, including your gran, including Jesus Christ, the God himself, wants to see you with no top on, my friend. It's not to do with your fatness, but it's to do with your extra skin, shall we say. This is not my testicles. This is not my genitalia, Twitch. You banned me for being fat, you ableist pricks. So, Twitch are obviously idiots and big brain, uh, stupid, just retards, you know what I mean? So, they obviously allowed people like him to uh, do this and basically say some sort of nudity is allowed. Now, obviously, a lot of people are getting banned, females, men, all of them are getting banned because they realise, shit, we've just enabled pornography on our site. It's funny, it's weird. If you want to see my uh, moves, my black bar, you actually have to pay extra for that. Link's in the description. I don't just do it for Twitch. I'm not some sort of scoundrel. I've got a million milk you guys dry. But obviously this documentary came out, um, like I said, I think it doesn't do him any favours other than that he's a whiny little bitch who has basically done nothing with his life other than complain, moan and feel so self entitled that it makes the Kardashians look like a peaceful family. It's a sad thing really, he lost a lot of weight, he became a boxer, he did stuff, well he became a boxer, you know what I mean, he, he did it for a bit of cash in the bank, this what have you, but I, I, I just struggle to understand now what's the goal, where, where do we go? Boogie, my friend, you, you know, what you did in YouTube 10 years ago, whenever it was, you're a great man, I'm sure, but sometimes you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And you have become literally the Joker, all right? You are literally the worst guy on the internet these days, mate. You're just doing it for laughs. It's like you're a circus. You're paying people to clap and throw banana peels at you and you throw tomatoes, you know what I mean? It's like back in the day when they used to have midgets and they just take the piss. This is what you are. You're a laughing stock. And it's sad to see, you know, when people are large, it's, it's sad because there's usually other things that cause that. And you sort of like taking the mick out of you and then taking the mick out of other people who are also large and you just need to sort of like get your internet throw it out the window get some gasoline throw your computer on it pour it on light a matchstick light your cigarette and throw it on lower your glasses looking to go it was a fun ride, boys. All seriousness, though, what do you guys think of this new Twitch thing? I think they're just stupid idiots who have no idea what they were doing and just wanted to try and remain relevant. They're obviously a bit nervous with Kick taking off. Uh, uh, is it Kick? What's it called? I can't remember what it's called. It's not called Kick, is it? <sighs> What's it called? Oh, it is called Kick. I was right. It's called Kick. But yeah, look, they're just trying to stay relevant and they've caused so much problems, so much catastrophe here. Good luck to Boogie, mate, but it's just time to pack it in. Take your hat off and just put your moobs away, please. You're finished.